The man to watch. In a rich vein of form, and number one on the scoring charts. Can he do it again today, live on EA TV? Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're at St James's Park on what is a rainy day. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And it is the season of giving. We come bearing the gift of football for you. It's Newcastle United versus Southampton. But at the moment, no present from you, Derek. Um, it's coming later, I promise. Yeah, I think that was the answer you gave me last year. Still, this game will be a treat for everybody. I have to say, as a football fan, I love this time of the year with the fixtures coming thick and fast. It's great stuff. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And the match begins. Now, who can he play it to? The Walcott. Will he finish? And it's in! 1-0. They've breached the defence. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, the pressure has certainly been applied. Let's find out if Newcastle are feeling it. This could be interesting. He's such a good keeper. Firing it in. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Back underway, level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Mount. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal.
behind in this game now. Southampton, what will they do in an attacking sense? An incisive pass. We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. And it is half-time, and I don't think this comes as any great surprise. Newcastle United on top, best home record in the league. Well, they play such good football here. It's sharp, it's inventive, and at times it's clinical. If they can just get more control of the midfield area, I'm sure we'll see them extend their lead. So, underway again. The Magpies with the lead, but this game far from being done and dusted. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. And on the back of that decision, now it's a caution. Well, it's a tight call, but in the end, I think he's got it right. A penalty and a yellow card. <laughs> to make it 2-2. minutes to go and just one goal between them this could be it and it is he's done it surely a case of game over well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself while the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. Now the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. And that will be that, the final whistle here. And Newcastle fans around the world will be delighted with the outcome. What did you make of their performance? Well, it doesn't matter how poor the opposition is, you still have to perform. And that's exactly what they did today. They were outstanding in every aspect of the game.
Well, it might still be early in the season, but the trend emerging at the top of the table is the friend of these two sides. Who's going to come out on top in this one? It's Newcastle United. They face Tottenham Hotspur, and the action comes your way next on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Newcastle United up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. Potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of us. Tottenham Hotspur with the kickoff. Lewis. It might be the moment to get them ahead. In it goes! The goal for 1 0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Away they go again. Now can Spurs come up with an answer? Well, the first half story has been written. Half time here at St. James's Park. 
This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it certainly put them in a good position. So the second half is underway. Newcastle United have the lead, but this is a long way from being settled. Well, Newcastle have completely bossed the game in the last 15 minutes and have been pressing to... Oh, extent. Stuart, they've got to score! Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace. And then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. The ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Hotspur taking on Liverpool. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. A glorious chance. And it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So on they go again, and the Magpies beginning to run away with this. That's useful play. He's in behind. And still an opportunity. And there it is! A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, let's take another look at this. From the attacking point of view, everything is right. The shot across the goalkeeper making it difficult for him. Players coming in for the rebound. It's an excellent goal. And the keeper could do nothing about it. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Richarlison. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, let's take another look at it. It's a really good penalty because he goes down the middle. The goalkeeper goes to one side. No real danger in the end. Excellent penalty. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Given away by Tottenham. And there goes the final whistle. It ends at a victory for Newcastle United. I wonder what you thought about their performance. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, I would say he was average today, but he can't be at his best every week. He just did a good job for the team.